Building a Cutout Puppet In Toon Boom Animate, you'll find all the tools you ever wish for to build cutout puppets with and animate them. A wide variety of breakdown and rigging techniques are available since Animate mixes the most common and popular concepts. Getting ready for the breakdown. To build your puppet, you'll first need the character's picture. It's even better if you have a complete turnaround. Breaking down a puppet consists of cutting the body into parts and placing them on different layers so that the character becomes articulated. The breakdown task will be easier if your turnaround views are placed in separated cells on the same layer and centered in the camera view. If your puppets are placed one beside the other, your final puppets will not align and will need to be repositioned. Start by analyzing your character. What are the main parts? If you look at this sample character, Limpa, you can identify five main pieces. Body, left arm, right arm, left leg, and right leg. Later on, you'll break those sections into smaller pieces such as right hand, left foot, right eye, mouth, head, etc. Try to decide what will be separated from what. To keep this puppet simple, we'll keep the hat attached to the head, but you could decide to separate it from the head to be able to animate it independently. To break down your character, use the Select tool and the Cutter tool. You do not need to create new layers when you break down your character. These will be created as you go. Start by creating the main pieces of your character. In this case, the body, arms, and legs. Use the cutter and select tools to extract the parts from the body and send them to separate layers. It doesn't matter if there are bits from other parts or gaps. You will fill and fix those later. Only do the front or three-quarter view for now. You'll break down the other views later on. To cut the main pieces, in the Tools toolbar, select the Cutter tool. You can also use the Select tool. In the Tool Properties view, select the Lasso Selection option. In the Camera view, trace the selection around the first part to separate it. In this case, we'll do the right arm. You can hold down the Shift key if you want to create a second area. If you simply click on a line, it'll be entirely selected until it meets an intersection. In the top menu, Select Edit, Create Drawing from Drawing Selection. The default keyboard shortcut is F9. In the dialog box, type the new layer name. Disable the Cut Artwork from Source option. When you create layers out of your color model, you do not want to cut out the artwork. Press the OK button to validate. Repeat the process for each main piece, body, legs, arms, head, etc. Once your main pieces are separated, you can start to break them down. To break down your main pieces, in the camera view, select the hand from the new arm layer. Do not select it from the model. In the top menu, select Edit, Create Drawing from Drawing Selection. In the dialog box, type the new layer name. Enable the Cut Artwork from Source option. You want to cut the hand away from the arm. Click on the OK button. Repeat the process for each part in the character to be broken down. Now that all your parts are in their respective layers, it's time to fix the rough cuts you did earlier and draw nice articulations. To do so, you will use tools such as Eraser Tool, Paint Tool, Contour Editor Tool, Brush Tool, and Select Tool. When you fix the joints, Make sure they overlap properly. Remember that the puppet will be animated and each part will move and rotate. So make sure not to leave a gap in the part underneath. The easiest articulation to do is the classical joint. The classical joint consists of removing a portion of the outline on the overlapping part. For example, the outline around the elbow can be erased on the forearm piece. The arm placed beneath the forearm will keep its entire outline. When you assemble those two pieces together, the joint is seamless and it looks like a single drawing. There are other ways to build articulations that are even more efficient. This one is the simplest and is often quite sufficient.
When you've finished fixing your drawings and joints on your three-quarter view, you can start breaking down the other views such as side and back views. Since you already broke down a view, the layers already exist and are named. You won't need to do it twice. The breakdown principle is the same, except that your layers already exist. To break down the extra views, in the Timeline view, select the cell containing your view to break down. In the Tools toolbar, select the Cutter tool or Select tool. In the Camera view, trace a selection around the first part to separate it. This time, you'll add your selection to an existing layer, instead of creating a new layer. In the top menu, select Edit, Create Drawing from Drawing Selection. In the dialog box, select the desired layer from the Layer Name drop-down menu. Disable or enable the Cut Artwork from Source option depending on what you're doing. Click on the OK button. Once the view is all broken down, fix the articulations and gaps. Repeat the process for each view. Once your timeline is completed, it should look similar to this example. 